Hey everybody, welcome back. Mike's going from Motorcar. So today we're going to be going into the Scout integrated nav system in the Toyota Entune Audio Plus. You guys are gonna enjoy this episode. It's gonna be very informative, kind of like the other video I did a little bit ago on the advanced navigation system that comes in the premium uh, Entune system. Stay tuned. All right, so today we're gonna to be looking at the Entune Audio Plus system, taking a look into the Scout integrated nav system here in the 2016 Toyota Highlander LE Plus. Now, this is not the only trim level that you can get this integrated nav system in. It's not the only platform that you could get it in. This is just the one that we're using today to demonstrate everything for you. All right, so as you can see, we're going to be downloading the Scout GPS link. That is gonna be the icon for it. You can kinda of see it there. Sorry, it's not quite as zoomed in, but this is gonna be the app. So this is going to be directly linked to the Entune system. So first thing you're going to do is going to be actually pairing your cell phone to the system. Now it's very, very simple. It's easy to do. All you have to do is go in either home if you have this setup or go into apps or in a setup it'll be in the top right hand corner on for example something like a Camry you hit the OK so to get the connected navigation service you will need a compatible phone connected via Bluetooth basically what we're going to be doing next and the connected navigation application so you have to download that application itself for more information please visit toyota.com forward slash Entune okay next step going into setup. So right here you press that button and it goes into the setup screen for your Entune system. Now you can do one of two things. You can either hit phone or you can hit Bluetooth. So I'm just gonna hit phone right here, connect phone and add. Now once this is trying to find something for you, all you gotta do is go on your phone here and you gotta hit search. So once you navigate to your settings, to your Bluetooth, go ahead and search whatever type of car is going to be right at the bottom. So mine says Toyota Highlander right there. Now it could be either Toyota Highlander, it could be hands-free. Sometimes it comes over as hands-free. Just select that. It'll give you a little passcode that'll be resembled right there on the screen. So it matches. Go ahead, hit OK. And the pairing was successful. OK, so don't touch anything, especially if you're an Android user. Next step is going to be confirming whether or not you want it to access your messages. If you wanted to access your messages, go ahead, hit allow. Next, it's gonna ask you if you want to sync your contacts and your previously in your phone lock. So I do want it to access that since I'm gonna be driving in the car, just hit allow. It's as easy as that. That's the first step, pairing your Bluetooth to the system. All right, guys, next step you guys are gonna have to do is actually download the link app. So you have to download this app right here. Once you download that app and you're connected to this, you're going to hit your application screen. Go ahead, hit OK again. Now you won't see this if the dealer didn't already program it in and update it for you. What you have to do is wait. It'll come up with a message that says an important update is available. Would you like to update or do it later? You hit update. It'll take a little bit of time. It'll go all the way to 100. Then after it's finished, you hit install. It's gonna pull it up saying, do you wanna install now, later? Just hit now, just install it. Just wait for the whole thing to finish. Don't, I found sometimes if you go into other apps and start doing other things, it might mess up the system a little bit. It takes a lot longer. Just leave it up on the screen. Do it sometime when you're not actually in a rush. It's a lot easier. Have the music playing in the background or something along those lines. That way you know everything's gonna be taken care of in the right way. All right, so now that it's downloaded on your screen here, next thing you're gonna do is, you don't really have to do anything from this. This is just the application open for you, just so that you can see it. However, all you're gonna do is hit Scout GPS. Connected navigation requires the use of a phone data plan. Now, I wanna show you something else too. Right as I opened it up, it switched to that. That is going to be 
you're not able to use this while you're driving. They're trying to make sure that you're not messing around with the phone as you're driving so you don't accidentally get into an accident. So, charges may occur if the data plan capacity or restrictions are exceeded. For more information, visit, same thing, toyota.com forward slash Entune. That is gonna be your place that you go to anytime you really have a question on the Entune system. It's gonna go through some tutorials with you, it's gonna go through some information. So, now this is all done, taken care of. You can now put your phone, just put it away. So, hit OK on the screen once you're ready to move forward. So, here's the Scout GPS app. Now, I wanted to go through this with you guys because you can go through a lot of this stuff on your phone before you actually get in the car and start driving with it. So, you have the home setup and the work setup. That is available in that profile button up in the top right hand corner. It's a little circle with a little silhouette in it. Go ahead and select that on your off time so that you can go through those options. There's a lot of really cool options in there to set it up to your liking. So first thing we're gonna do, we're just gonna search a destination. So by searching the destination, it's going to do something that I really like how they integrated it here and something that I think a lot of GPS manufacturers or uh, application manufacturers could really learn from in the future. So if you hit search, it's gonna pull up a points of interest bar up at the top so you don't have to go through those or pre-select it a different way. Also what it's gonna do, as you can see, I searched Starbucks a little bit earlier just to play around with it a little bit, make sure that you know everything was up to date. Starbucks, right there. That is my most and only destination that I put in here. If you had more, they would all search here at the bottom. So remember on this front page, you had recent next to search. It also has the recents right down here, just your most recent one. So you can't really scroll through them like you can on the other one, but they'll all populate here for you. So let's say this is the best example that I usually use because it happens to me a lot. I'm driving somewhere not too familiar with and I'm running low on gas. Right now I've got a quarter tank in here. It's not that low, but it's somewhere that I'm warranting maybe I need to refuel a little bit in you know a day or two let's say i'm out say i took a road trip i'm going to north carolina i live in ohio going to north carolina going 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 all of a sudden my fuel light comes on i'm like crap i have no idea where i am and where the best gas is now the amazing thing about this system as soon as you hit the gas button it's going to populate a list for you now as this populates it's also going to wait for it populate the gas it's 209 down the road at the true north station now this is currently being sorted by least price so as you see 209 212 212 216 and so on and so forth so searching by the fuel price that's really cool. I like that because I don't want to have to pay more than I have to for gas. I mean, I hate paying for gas as it is. Give me the least expensive option. You know, realistically, don't give me something that's 35 miles away first. It's not going to do that. So next, let's say, all right, you're done with gas. You're still driving. It's been a long day. And if you have toy to safety sense, you might get this joke. You get the sway warning pop up in the coffee symbol. So you're gonna hit coffee. All right, you're right, Toyota, maybe it is some time for me to get some coffee. Go ahead and hit that coffee button. Now it's gonna populate the list, just like last time, except this time it is gonna be sorted um, a little bit differently. I believe this way is actually sorted by the rating itself. So, Starbucks, boom. I wanna go to Starbucks. I'm tired, I wanna get some, just hit drive. Now it's literally right down the road, so, I already know where it is, but you can go ahead and drive there or you can like it. Now, let's say you find this really, really good restaurant that you're not in the area often. Say you're visiting your parents, you're visiting your aunts, uncles, cousins, friends, somewhere on the other side of town. So I live on the east side of Cleveland. Let's say I'm going to the west side of Cleveland. I'm not there often. However, I really, really, really liked this restaurant. Boom, I hit like. It's gonna populate here, please wait. All right, it is now liked. So 
Remember on that front page? One more. You've got the search, the recents, and the likes. If you don't remember exactly what that restaurant was, it's gonna have it saved there for you in your likes. Go ahead and hit likes. Boom, pops up. Starbucks, that was your favorite place to go. You really liked it. Maybe you should go there again. So next time you're out with your friends, you know, man, we went to go get something to eat, and I can't remember what that place was called. Hold on one second. I remember, I put it in my likes in my Scout app. Now, if you don't have your phone, or if you don't have your phone connected to the system while you're inside with them talking about where you're going to go, it's going to save in your phone. So you're not going to have to run out to your car, start your car, open up the application, go to likes. No, it's all going to be right here in your phone. Amazing, amazing, amazing stuff. That's one of the reasons I really like this application that's connected with your phone. It makes it so much easier to use everything. Okay, so now you've got your destination and you're driving. So it's gonna be very simple. It will take you throughout the trips. It will have your next step right here. It'll load the map and it'll have you driving along it. Very, very simple to use and easy to use. One of the things I do wanna go over with you guys just real quickly before I end this video is right up here in the corner. It's the setup button. So as before, as uh, you go through I told you that you can set your home address and your work address from the front page. You can also do it here. So let's say you set the home address. Say you set it as Starbucks. But oops, I didn't actually mean to set Starbucks after I set Starbucks as my home address. Now all I have to do is right here, right above my finger is the X. Just go ahead and hit that X button. It's just gonna clear that out for you. If you ever need to edit it, it's right in that settings profile and you have the option to you know, change your work. If you want it always to be daytime on the screen, it's always gonna be white here. If you want it to be nighttime, it's gonna switch it to a darker look. So now you have all this stuff populating where it's a lot darker and you can go through and it looks a little bit nicer if you like that darker look to the screen. Now, however, sometimes it does get a little bit harder to see if you're driving and it's very, very bright out. Thank you guys for watching. I really, really appreciate your time. This video was actually brought to you by me, but this was actually for one of our subscribers here. This is for Chinmay. I'm very sorry it took a little while for me to get this and complete it for you, but this video was because he asked for it in the suggestions. Um, down in the comments, he suggested a video on this because he's actually been having trouble um, in getting this application to run smoothly. So I just wanted to pump out this video for you so that you can see everything that you need to know on the Scout integrated app. Thank you guys very much for watching. I really appreciate your time. If you liked the video, make sure you hit that thumbs up, hit that like button for me so that I know that you enjoyed it so I can keep doing these for you. If you want to see more or you have something else that you want me to show you, put it down in the comment section. I'd really appreciate the feedback too if you liked it or if you didn't. Um, and then why? Next time, maybe I can pump something out you like a little bit different. If you want me to show more of this or that, just let me know exactly what you want me to put out. Lastly, if you like the video so much and you know somebody that can use something like this, hit the share button. That way they can make sure that they enjoy this as well. If you wanna see videos like this, I, I do videos like this about once or twice a month, maybe three or four times, depending on how much time I have, hit that subscribe button. That way you're notified every single time I do a new video. Again, thanks for watching. My name's Mike, I'm from Motor Cars Toyota. Have a great day.